So I decided to do a little rematch between Liquid Plumber Clog Destroyer Gel and Drano Max Gel. It's been about 16 hours and there isn't too much to show for it. So I decided to make it a little bit fairer, try to make it a little easier for the uh, chemical drain cleaner. So I only filled up the plastic jugs with water until uh, it got to the base of the, of the jug. It's like less than two cups of water. And then I put five quarts of each product in there. Uh, it's been about 16 hours. And I lowered the content of the clog to 150 grams. It's still peanut butter, rice, grape nuts, pancake batter mix. Kind of very similar to the other clogs, except less, about 150 grams. So here we go. There isn't much going on after 16 hours. So I'll show you how Drain Best, uh, how Drain Best uh, comes to the clog rescue. <laughs> so they're both still installed. Um, and that's uh, one of the advantages of the old Drain Best is once it's installed, it just stays there. It probably lasts a lifetime. Uh, lasts a long, long time. So here's the one with the larger magnet that's been installed. And this uh, the larger magnet gets installed through the P-trap initially. The smaller magnet here gets installed through the sink drain. Probably a lot more convenient for most consumers. But um, here we go. Here's the larger magnet uh, going in. We got uh, five quarts of Drano Max Gel in there. Been in there for 16 hours. Didn't do a whole lot. You can see it's starting to get in there, but it certainly isn't doing anything. So here we go with Drain Best. Should be fairly easy to get something going here. So I start moving it around. There we go. Get into the clog here. Made a little bit of a, and you can kind of see with this light. So I got the sunlight here, making it a little bit easier to see what's going on. But uh, yeah, it clogs pretty good, but it's breaking through. So you can see the the, uh, the liquid and the drain cleaner starting to make its way through. I mean, I just put it this way so you can see better. Been in there for about 16 hours. It's a good clog. It's, uh, you know, maybe once again, it's a bit too much of a clog, but uh, we're starting to break it up here. Normally, you're not probably gonna get this big of a clog, but try to, uh, Try to display how it works. Now this magnet is a little bit bigger, so ah, there it goes. It's starting to go through there. You might be able to see on the front that the breaking through the clog here. Clog starting to move out of there. Not necessarily easy. Oh, loosen up here. But it's moving. We did give these guys 16 hours and I gave them five quarts of five quarts of product. You think something would have happened, but you can see the stuff's kind of uh, the clogs getting in there. Or the uh, uh the Drano starting to get into the clog. I don't know, you can feel it's a little warm. Okay, we should be getting closer to making something happen here. This is actually a pretty good clog, but you can see it's starting to starting to break up. Starting at least to get the at least getting the drain opener into the actual clog. This is actually taking a little longer than I thought. This clog's pretty good. But, you can see the uh, chemical 
oil's getting in there. Brain bus moving around. Assisting. This is a really good cloth. Slightly different recipe. <laughs> Maybe it hardened up a bit, I don't know. But it's getting there. You can see it's breaking it up. Breaking it up, getting the drain cleaner mixed in. Should be getting close to, to flowing here. Like I said, it used a lot more chemical than last time. It used a good uh, five quarts and just a couple cups of water. So, I don't know, you think it would have done something. Got in there and ate it up, but you can see this clog is pretty tough. <laughs> this is taking a little longer than I suspected. See if we can get up here. Get this. Uh, Started to move, but it's not quite. You got this thick part here with the fitting. Try to get in there. That guy should start to move. Well, not quite. But, you know, this one definitely is not instantaneous. <laughs> but, we're getting there. Starting to get a little bit old, but we got the main body of the P trap pretty much, pretty much got the clog mixing with the drain cleaner. Take a little longer than I suspected, but it is a pretty severe clog. Hey, you can see we're making a lot of progress here anyway, but in a hard spot. Okay, let's try to move up a little bit here. Sometimes a little difficult. You got the really thick fitting. And you got the clog right next to the thick part of the fitting. But this clog is pretty doggone serious. <laughs> but you can see we're mixing the, the drain opener in with the clog much, much, much better than the chemical drain opener ever did. At this point, it should start to, start to move, and it is, but it's not quite over the bend here. And you got a really thick fitting here, which spreads out the distance between the magnets and makes it a little bit difficult to jump across. So you just keep breaking it up below it, and then the liquid's gonna get you in there and do some of its work. Let's see if I can make the jump here. You can see you got the thick part of the fitting. Ah, that clog must be pretty hard right there. It's not moving out that easy. So we'll keep working on it here. In the meantime, I'll tell you what we'll try to do. We're gonna move this, this guy back up here. Let's go over to this one. Okay, this is a much thinner, narrower magnet that's used to uh, go through the sink drain, installed through the sink drain. Let's give this guy a try. Let's see what it does. Gonna let that percolate. Let's see if we can get through this clog here with the thinner magnet. Hey, you can see it starting to do 
do something there. We got the drain cleaner mixing in better. Definitely that. But let's try to make a path through the clog and get it to start the drain. You can see it's kind of working together. Drain opener, chemical, and the drain best. This clog's pretty severe. I don't know if it like expanded, swelled up, what the heck. But uh, <laughs> it's not an easy clog. See, we're getting the chemical drain cleaner is getting into the clog here. But nothing miraculous happening as of yet. Making a little bit of a path for. chemical get further into the drain but even this guy as pointy as it is is having a little bit of trouble making it all the way through it is getting the chemical drain cleaner into the clog though which is big plus if you were going to try to team up the two products drain best and chemical drain cleaner definitely an advantage actually gets the drain cleaner into the clog it makes it work a little better well, I say a lot better I mean, this is 16 hours of sitting here at least now you got some sort of penetration into the clog with the chemical drain cleaner but it's not quite enough to clear the clog just yet Okay, let's go back to this one. You can see it's working though. Looks like it's doing something. It's actually getting into the clog and lifting the uh, lifting the clog out, starting to help and assist. I don't know, it's kind of my point of view that uh, even these types of companies with the uh, liquid chemical drain openers, instead of selling big old jugs of chemicals, you can say, hey, consumer, how about you just use half of the chemical? Jugs of chemicals and half drain best because with the two of them working together, it's a, it's a heck of a lot better product. Heck of a lot better. And half the plastic jugs in the world and half the plastic jugs filled with chemicals could be eliminated, and that's a good thing. Okay, this guy over here, whee, he's warming up. You can tell the drain chemicals is getting in there and doing the trick, but it has to be quite. Uh, it hasn't quite solved it yet, but you can see the same thing. You can see it rising up. The, it's like the chemical drain cleaner is working to break it up along with the magnet and the drain best. All right, let's see if we can get across here. All right, you can see it rising up. I don't know if you can see it with the backlight here. It's real bright. Maybe it's doing the trick. This one too, it's like, it's actually, it's actually getting in there and breaking up the clog much, much better. Much, much better. You can see how the two work together. It'd be a huge plus for your chemical drain cleaners to have something like Drain Best working with you. All right, let's see if we can actually get this through. Now, if we can make it through this fat fitting and get to the other side, then it's a done deal. All right, there we go. It's just about there. Kind of softening it up now. There we go. Let's try to make the jump. Jump across the fitting. You can see it's just about there we go. Once we get to this point, it's a done deal. You can just kind of... There we go. You break this guy up, it's over. There she goes. Oh. Still a clog up, man. That's a heck of a clog. This is definitely the worst clog I've tried to uh, display. 
But nonetheless, 16 hours versus versus a few minutes. Now, if you had if you combine the two originally, so you had drain vest in there and the chemical drain cleaner, then you probably would have got the chemical drain cleaner into the clog much much easier. No, oh, it's even here. This is like this is like king clog. There we go. This is gonna do it. There we go. There, it's done. Seal almost. <laughs> oh, there she goes. It's all good. All right, there you go. All right, that's a done deal with the old drain best. Drain best and drain old Max Joe. Try cutting this product in half and use half drain best, and you guys got something that would work. All right, you can see this one's working too. You got liquid plumber over here. Same thing. This guy is the one that installs through the sink drain. A little small, different shaped magnet on the inside. It has its advantages, has its disadvantages, but they're both good. And you can see, it's basically just to get the, uh, this, this clog here is so severe that the advantage to working with drain best is the chemical drain cleaner is in the clog and actually penetrating it. Whereas before it just stood on top of it and wasn't doing much at all. So let's try to mix this up a bit. Same thing we did over here. Get it to uh, penetrate the clog a little more and try to, uh, there it goes. All right, it's getting in there now. So you can see it's penetrating the clog, starting to break it up. You can see the huge advantage to drain best working with your chemical drain cleaner. There it goes, we'll just let it go through. So now at least it's penetrating the clog. See if it, see if it, see if the actual five quarts of chemical drain cleaner helped. Now there's a lot of work. We got a little channel going through here. So at the very least, chemical grain cleaner is actually penetrating the clog. This stuff is meant to break up the clog, so we would hope it, once it's actually penetrating the clog, it would break it up. So, teamwork. Drain best, little liquid plumber. Let's see if I can jump the clog here. There we go. Try to get that guy moving a bit. This is King Clog for sure. This is a bad one. But it's getting there. There goes the chunk. Right. Uh, we're down to at least half of the chemical that used to be in there. A couple quarts left. Right. We might actually have to, if, it, if the Five quarts doesn't blow it out of there. We may have to just let it sit. Ideally, you could add water if you're in the sink, right? But the idea is to get it done with the least amount of water usage. So let's see if we can get it to blow out of there with just the chemical, five quarts of chemical drain cleaner before we run out. It's slowly going down the drain, which one thing drain best won't do is go down the drain with your chemical drain cleaner. It'll last and last and last and last and last. Probably last a lifetime, longer in your sink. Might last longer than you. It isn't gonna go bad. It isn't gonna corrode. <laughs> this is definitely a lot longer than I thought it'd be, but it's a, uh, it's a real deal here, I'm not trying to fake it. 
anybody could see that the chemical drain clean is actually penetrating the clog and going through it. So it's doing what it's supposed to. This is not working a miracle, but it's definitely doing the trick. So we're just about down to the base of the sink here, and it's slowed down. But we'll revisit this in a few hours and see if it's like the chemical drain cleaner has eaten up the clog and uh, go from there. All right, we're just going to leave these two installed here. And uh, that's it. Drain best definitely assisted. It didn't work a miracle right away, but this was a really, really bad clog. Call it King Clog. <laughs> so we'll give uh, Liquid Plumber a few more hours. It's penetrated the clog and haven't totally cleared it out, but we're not actually adding water to the sink here. If we did, then the head pressure would probably blow it out, but we'll let the chemical drain cleaner work and come back and revisit it here in a bit. So, so I am looking for a company or a brand to take over Drain Best and even Magnetic Plunger and the Patton. Uh, you can see even with these two, these two brands here that uh, Drain Best assisting them makes a world of difference. A world of difference. You could at least use half the chemicals and half the plastic jugs and replace that half with the simple Drain Best. Super simple. And uh, that'd be great. Or if you're a brand that just wants to take on Drain Best, Magnetic Plunger, and compete with the liquid chemical drain cleaners, of the world, that's fine too. Send me an email at uh, magneticplunger at gmail and uh, we'll talk. All right, thank you.